I thought it was time for another fountain pen shootout. And I thought that today we would compare two pens. We have on this side the Tibaldi Bononia, Bononia, I'm, I'm still not sure, um, in the very pretty Martini Olive. And then on the other side we have the Leonardo Moment, sorry, uh, uh, Furore, not Momento Zero. And I think if you see them side by side, you understand why I thought it would be interesting to do a shootout. Very similar shapes. I'm not implying or insinuating anything. I'm just saying these happen to be two pens with fairly similar shapes. They're both made in Italy. I thought it would be fun to compare them side by side and see which one I prefer. Now, the Bononia was sent to me by uh, Joost Appelbaum from Appelbaum Pennon. Remember, you get a 10% discount there. On He carries both of these pens. Um, the Tibaldi is 161 euros there. That excludes VAT, so a little bit more expensive for European customers. Uh, the uh, Leonardo Furore is 147 euros there. I ended up getting an upgraded nib for this and the gold nibs are pretty much as expensive as the pen. So bear in mind, this pen is more expensive than that. Writing, when I do these shootouts, for me, the shootouts are not so much about one nib versus the other. And the reason I say that is I have previously recorded a shootout with these two Tibaldis, the model, uh, sorry, the number 60 and that Bononia, which both have the same steel medium nib and yet one of these two pens is considerably smoother than the other so comparing nibs like that is not always easy when I do a shootout like this for me it's more about the whole feeling of the pen I just want to point that out that that is the goal I have to kind of talk you through what it means to hold and use either of these pens and therefore bear in mind this pen now does have a gold nib Okay, so if we look at them side by side, right, clearly tapered caps, tapered barrels, and they are almost the same size, right? There are, however, some differences. Obviously, there's the trim, gold trim versus the palladium trim, all that stuff, uh, different clip shapes. Yeah, I mean, they're two pens from two different manufacturers, right? For me, the biggest differences lie in these two things. Forget about gold nib versus steel nib, because if you purchase a standard uh, Furore, it will also have a um, steel nib. I'm just going to put this out, because then I have something to rest the pen on so that they won't roll away. And then I can zoom in maybe a little bit more to show you the pens well, but not that much. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so both have a number six nib. One important difference is that the Leonardo has an ABS feed in this particular model, whereas the um, Tibaldi, sorry, has an ebonite feed. Ebonite does have superior flow characteristics, and I will say it does have an exceptional flow. Having said that, I have not had any issues with this Leonardo nib or feed. Another important difference is the shape of the section. The Tibaldi has a fairly traditional section shape, which tapers down and then flares out a little bit. Whereas the Leonardo has this shape section that I've really only seen on Leonardo, which tapers down and then is straight. And the first time I saw that, I thought that looks uncomfortable. I found these sections to be actually very comfortable. So there is that. Okay. Another important difference, and I'm just going to cap them because I don't want them to dry out. Another important difference is that, okay, I uncap it again. Um, there is the uh, cartridge converter, right, which in the Tibaldi is accessed in the traditional manner by unscrewing the section from the barrel. In the Leonardo, that is something you could do. What I really like about the Leonardo is that the threads are resin on resin whereas in the Tibaldi, the threads are resin on metal, and that can strip the threads over time, and then you can pretty much throw out the pen. 
I like this a little better. The second thing is a cute little trick that the Leonardo can do, but the Tibaldi cannot. You do have a blind cap which you can open to access the converter and operate it as if it were a piston-filled pen. I must admit, I never really fill it that way, but I know people who do, and that's just on me. So, here we have the pens. What about the size? I find the Leonardo to be ever so slightly girthier, but it is a minimal difference. And if I zoom out a bit, the Tibaldi feels a little small to me, in my hand, right? It does post, and then it really is a comfortable size. The Tibaldi has a very pretty material that I do think is very attractive, it's very shiny, it has some nice depth to it, but for me, uh, this material is hard to beat, because the Chateauians in this is insane, and it is very, very attractive, I find. Anyway, um, this pen, as I said, I feel has a little bit more girth, um, and therefore it feels a little bit bigger. I don't think it is that much bigger, but it does feel a bit bigger. See, the difference is pretty much non-existent, but there is more girth. And that is interesting. If you so desire, you can also post your Leonardo and write with it posted. Okay, how about we do a bit of writing side by side, where again, this is not so much an evaluation of the nib, uh, because one is steel, one is gold, etc. If you want more experiences on the nib, watch the reviews, right? The individual reviews for the two pens uh, will have more information about the nibs. Now I'm just talking about the experience of writing with the pen. So we have that Tibaldi Bononia which has a pretty smooth nib. It's quite nice to use. And especially when posted, I find it very comfortable. It feels to me, again, a bit on the small side, but that's just personal, uh, when I write with it unposted. I could write with it unposted. You do, I miss, I should say, the extra weight at the end of it, and that makes the pen feel very light, and therefore also smaller to me. Having said that, I think it's very nice, it's a pleasant writer, and it is an attractive pen. If I compare that to the Leonardo, which here has a Leonardo blue ink in it. This is a, um, Edelstein Moonstone, sorry. This is a gold stub. Also a very pleasant writer. But for me too, sorry for the noise, I would prefer to use this posted. I find it posted to be a bit more balanced, for me a bit bigger, which I appreciate. And it is a very nice pen. Okay, then there is the final verdict. If I were to have to pick one of these two pens, which one would it be? For me, the Leonardo. I find it just a little bit more pleasant. That slight additional girth, to me, makes a difference. I find it more pleasant to write with, I find it a little bit more pleasant in hand, and I find the shape of the section to work better for my hand. That's just my experience, of course yours may be different, but I do find that interesting, uh, I do notice that difference. I also will say that the um, being able to access the converter with that blind cap, it's a fun feature, and although not one that I use, it is interesting to have that option. 
and that is pretty much all there's to it. Uh, also, by the way, the um, uh, furore is with a steel nib, and I've used it with a steel nib, very pleasant steel nibs too, actually a bit more affordable than the Tibaldi, so that's kind of nice too. And that's all there's to it. I, uh, I hope this was useful. I thank Joost Appelbaum for lending me this pen. Um, he also lent me this one at some point, and for some reason it was never returned. I don't know. I think. But that's what happens. Dot, dot, dot. Um, <laughs> I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.